I guess we should tell people how we know each other. Yes. Because it's not random. Yeah. Uh, we met in Philadelphia mm -hmm. when I worked with the Philadelphia Live Arts Festival. And um, I remember the first time you came in to talk about house. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had a lot of questions about how it would work and where we would find a house and, you know, just how we would do it. But then, of course, it was fabulous. Well, after I made house, I was talking to a friend and he was like, you should make a trilogy. And so I decided to make a trilogy of pieces um, called American Spaces. So I came up with house, obviously, car. And then the, this last piece, store, um, was obviously about this very like public experience mm -hmm. that we all, like everybody at some point right. in their day goes to a store. But actually when I, when I went to make the piece, I sort of became less interested in these really like didactic ideas about consumerism. Like I'm like, okay, everybody knows that there are pros and cons to consumerism. That's everybody right. loves shopping and also, you know, supports a culture that is like, based on some really materialistic things. So I kind of feel like all that stuff's a little bit obvious. So what became more interesting to me was the actual site um, and thinking about being in a recession yeah. and, and thinking about what if we didn't have a lot of stuff and like what, um, you know, sort of imagining like the worst or maybe the best, like a fallout, like what would happen, like in more of like a post-apocalyptic situation, how, you know, what would be yeah. left? And like, what are the rules of consumerism and how do those, how would those rules sustain in a world mm -hmm. where we didn't have fancy new things that we could buy all the time? And then the sound. And then the sound is, um, is a bunch of pop music. It's pop, it's rock, it's rap, it's sort of music that I love, um, that, that I think is music that a lot of people like, you know, so I, I and it's that popular. was, it's popular, <laughs> you know, that was like intentional to yeah. really try to like not isolate people from an art experience, but actually include them. And what we're doing here, which we'll talk about at the show, at the talk back, mm -hmm. that's new and different is that the piece is coming into a theater, mm -hmm. um, whereas the first time it was done, it was done in an empty Rite Aid store. So that's different. Um, and we'll be doing that here using the theater as well as an empty storefront next door. Cool. <laughs>